Hi, I'm Amy Shannon. No, I'm not a celebrity. I'm not famous. I'm just an ordinary person, a single mother of four grown sons. Um, and I used to be able to express myself through my writing, um, but I can't really do that very much anymore. Um, so I've been doing a lot of expressions um, of my feelings and thoughts that are going on, um, either verbally um, or I just kind of keep them to myself and they run around my head. Um, I want to talk about something that is kind of like the foundation of what my mother um, taught me. Um, my mother taught me a lot of things. But I think out of everything, the most important lesson she ever taught me was just to be kind. Um, I always um, do my best to be polite, well-mannered, and be kind. I don't judge people um, based on anything except how they treat me and how they, they act. Um, even if someone treats you terribly, doesn't mean you have to do the same. Um, and I understand that there is a lot of hate in the world, and unfortunately, hate is that four-letter word that I think, um, you know, it goes back to the very beginning of time. and. You know, you would think that people would have learned by now that hate doesn't get you anywhere. Um, it makes you angrier and it can turn you really inside out. Um, I don't hate anyone. There may be people that I dislike or um, that's about it, but I can't find myself um, hating anyone. Um, and I've seen hate up front, personal, um, staring me in the face. And the only reason I was hated was because I was a wife. It doesn't have anything to do with being, you know, a woman or anything else. Uh, my personality um, or my talent or lack thereof, whatever. Um, or just because it's me and it was just because I was there and I was his wife. Um, that is where I've seen hate. Um, however, I could never find myself to hate him in return because what he was doing was anger and that was feeding that anger and I just don't believe in that. Um, I support the protesters and the Black Lives Matter movement. I believe that humankind matters, life matters. And sometimes in order to get people to hear you, you have to be very loud and vocal about it. But the key is not just letting someone hear you, but having someone actually listen to you. We should not judge groups of people based on a few that may be not so good. You can't judge a person by what they look like, by who they sleep with by who they love. You just accept them as they are. If you don't like someone, there should be a reason why you don't like someone, not just because of the way they look, the way they are, but maybe the way they've treated you or you've seen them treat other people. Um, you know, it's really important um, to, you know, let your voices be heard. 
you know, speak out. Um, but don't let other people diminish you because of your opinion. Don't let um, hate come in between friends. I have a lot of uh, opinions and thoughts and some of them I keep to myself. I never discuss politics or my thoughts and my um, political um, people that I support, um, I keep that to myself. Who I vote for, I keep that to myself as well. Um, especially over the last few years um, because people have been divided based on who they they voted or for or who they support or don't support and friendships have been torn apart um, again somehow we are letting hate enter the lives of humankind here we are in the middle of a pandemic with um, COVID-19 and it seems that hate is spreading as fast as the um, pandemic, COVID-19, and things are not getting any better. Please look back at our history, learn from our mistakes, our humankind mistakes, how we treated people in the past, because sometimes people are still being treated as they were three, 300 years ago, 200 years ago, 50 years ago. <clears throat> we live in a world that should be full of tolerance, love, companionship, friendship, and yes, kindness. So, if you think of anything that you've learned from your parents or their parents. If there is a tradition of hate, because that is a learned behavior, break the cycle. If there is a tradition of being kind, show your kindness and others may follow. Thank you for listening to me.